the truth about cats and dogs or the best way to get out of any kind of sadness. Hello, I'm Sandhya Krishnan and welcome to Dynamic Living. Now I know I'm plagiarizing the title by a movie of the same name and I can't exactly remember what the storyline of that was but this is really about why we love our pets so much. If you think about it, why do we like any person? Very often you'll come away from an event saying, you know, I don't know what it was about this other person, he was so nice. If you think about it, it's probably because he was listening to you or paying you a lot of attention. We humans tend to like people who like us. And that is one reason why we love dogs. I can't say the same for cats. Let's think about why we love cats so much and why cats make us so happy and why the internet is so full of cat memes and cat videos. I have two dogs and two cats and I will say there's never a dull moment in my house. What's happening here is that when you look after something, something, something or someone, in that moment, you're not thinking about yourself. You're not thinking about your sadness. You're not thinking about your ego. It's the same reason why when you go out and play a game after a hard day, you're thinking of nothing but the game in that moment. Because if you didn't, there would be a ball smack in the middle of your forehead. The first secret to being happy, or at least to not being sad, is to distract yourself, is to distract your attention away from your sadness. Exercise is a great way to do that. Being around somebody you love is a great way to do that. A little bit of touch therapy never hurt. Another reason why cats and dogs come in so handy. They're over you, they're, they can't get enough of your touch. Again, more dogs than the cats. But it's exactly that. It's little moments of happiness. And as you build these up, they become a habit. They become a practice. You don't need pets in your house to be able to get this happiness. You just need to go out and there are endless ways in which you can find this sort of contact, this sort of touch, this sort of distraction of attention away from yourself. If you're feeling sad right now, I would say the first thing is to just move your body. Sadness is a feeling and a feeling is just hormones in your body that are, that are playing up, that are acting up. Let's shift those hormones. Let's flood your body with other hormones. Move it, exercise, play a game, dance, just do something or have somebody reach out and pull you out of that sadness for a moment. The next step is to involve your mind in something else. And that's where the cats and dogs come in handy. Either that or a good book or an interesting activity or something that engages your mind in a slightly challenging way not in a zombie sort of way because then the sadness is just going to be under the surface. Finally, practice, practice, practice. The more you practice building these happy hormones in your body, the more your ha body gets habituated to it, the less your, your natural resort is going to be to sink into sadness. The way to build happiness is little steps at a time and it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to reach out and touch somebody. God knows cats and dogs love it, as long as you're sure that they don't bite. <laughs>